Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I'm Lauren from Guthrie and Ghani and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you all of the beautiful new fabric arrivals that have come into my shop, Guthrie and Ghani, during the month of June 2023. So I've got a really lovely selection of different things, some really nice summery cotton and linen based fabrics, some amazing X designer fabrics as well that are a bit of a mix of cottons and a little bit of linen in there as well, some really nice stretches stretch fabrics as well so lots of inspiration to be had and i'll be sharing lots of ideas of things that you can do with these fabrics too so i have made a blog post that goes along with this video and in there i will link all of the fabrics that i mention so if you're looking for a specific fabric that i do mention in the video the blog post is probably the easiest and quickest place to find it but you can just generally browse the just arrived section on our website as well it's where all of the very latest new arrivals come in so depending on when you're watching this video there might be some new stuff in there we're usually getting a few new fabrics every week so before i get started i'll just give you a quick rundown of the top that i'm wearing because i usually get quite a lot of questions about this in the comments and everything so hopefully this helps to answer answer all of them. It is the fairly new Friday Pattern Company Donny Top shirt that I have made and I have made it using this really lovely embroidered border fabric. So this is the white Swiss dot scalloped broider cotton fabric. It's 1560 a meter and is 100% cotton. So along where the selvage is on one side, it's got this really pretty embroidered little sort of flower design here. So I've incorporated that into the hem of this top. So when I was working out how much fabric I needed, really I just looked at what the width of my front and back pattern piece was and that was the length of fabric that I bought because the border is only on one side. So then you have to just rotate your pattern pieces 90 degrees, cut it out along the bottom bottom and then because it's you know it's a fairly short garment you can then use the top part of it for cutting out your collar pieces and cutting out your sleeves as well so really I would say you need to you need to just look at what the width of your front and back pattern piece is and then that's the length of fabric that you want to get so I will start with the little summary selection of linen-y type fabrics that I've got. So some of them are fabrics that we've had in other colorways before we've just sort of added to the range. So the really popular range of yarn dyed linen. So these are linen fabrics where um, the yarn dyed referencing that the threads going in one direction are one color and the threads going in the other direction are another color i.e. white or like a natural color so it gives a really lovely sort of two-toned texture and appearance to the fabric so this one here is the washed chambray yarn dyed fabric um, and it's 100% linen and it's got quite a bluey tone to it so you can see in the selvage there that it's got that sort of denim blue color but then obviously because it's woven in with the white it just sort of tones it down a little bit so that is a really lovely one there. I would say it's probably on the cusp of being maybe like a little bit too light for trousers. I feel like potentially they might feel a little bit pyjama like just because they are, they are quite lightweight for trousers but if you're looking for a really summery pair of trousers then I think you know they probably would be okay it's not too see-through like when I put my hand up to it on this one anyway so yeah we've got that in the in the the chambray one which is like a blue sort of denim and then a really lovely kind of sunshiny yellow one as well I think that's so lovely and bright so perfect for that sort of oversized shirt style that a lot of people are wearing at the moment and um, maybe a nice gathered skirt or um, a little sundress something like that would be really lovely and then we've also got it in um, a black charcoal colourway so you can see that the, the selvage there the threads are black but then obviously because it's mixed with the white threads then it really tones it down so it gives this really lovely um, textured sort of grey colour there so some nice additions to that um, plain yarn dyed linen range that we've got and then a new colourway to the, the pinstriped um, cotton linen so this is 55 linen 45 cotton so again I would say like a de like decent bit of structure because it's cotton and linen mix this makes really nice dresses so we, this is the pinstriped one here in the yellow but then we've also got it in the mid stripe as well and this is the same fabric that we used in one of the so liberated hinterland dress kits last summer it was in this the sort of greeny colorway 
Um, so, so yeah, really good for dresses like that one. Um, and just a lovely bright summery color. It's really, really lovely. Um, I think you could probably even do something where you could combine them and have the two together. That might look cool as well. Um, there's lots of dresses out there where there's like sort of different panels. You could kind of combine it. Um, the new, that new so over it summer dress is really nice and it's got various different panels and different directions that looks good in stripes so maybe an idea to think about there and then we have got then more on to sort of bit more bolder patterns and um, checks as well. I'll show you this one first of all. It's just slightly at the bottom of this little pile that I've created here. This is the Lilac Blooms Garden and this is a linen viscose blend. So it's 55 linen, 45 viscose. So it does just have a little bit more sort of fluidity and drape because it's got that viscose in it. But I would say it is a really nice weight. You could definitely make a nice pair of shorts out of this a pair of trousers, a jumpsuit, a dress. Oops, the bolt's very heavy. Um, and it's got this really lovely sort of large scale lilac blooms on it. It's beautiful. It's a, sort of like a painted effect, like a, like a painted picture. As you can really see the brush stroke texture in it and everything, but in a, on that nice natural um, coloured background. So that's a really lovely, beautiful summery one. And then we've had a couple of new colourways of this large scale gingham check. So we had it in the rose pink. We've still got a little bit of the navy left as well. And then we've now got it in the monochrome. So that's black and then in a really lovely caramel colour as well. So that's a really sort of soft browny shade, which is very on trend right now. So, you know, the scale of this is quite big, as you can see next to me, and it is viscose linen, 55 linen, 45 viscose. I would say in comparison to the other one, it feel, although the fabric composition is the same, this probably feels a little bit lighter weight. So the density of that, the lilac blooms one is probably a bit heavier. Um, but yes, yeah, some of you might have seen that I use the pink colourway of this one to make the fiber mid quilla top which is really nice so it's really cute for little simple summery tops jo that works in the shop made a lovely version of the assembly line cuff top as well but she just didn't put the elastic cuffs in and it looks really lovely in that too so we do have more of the pink color way coming in but it's unfortunately it's not going to be more till the end of the summer season it wasn't available till august again but you can you can sign up for a stock notification if you've got your heart set on the pink one but yeah really lovely monochrome and caramel colorway now available in that fabric and then now i'm going to move on to some more like cotton based fabric so it's a little bit of a mix of different things here and um, the first one i've got comes in two colorways this one is the blue and then it also comes in a sort of like ready kind of pinky color as well it's the textured woven stripe cotton fabric it's 100 percent cotton I would say it's fairly lightweight, um, so depending on what you're making it with, you, you might feel like you want to line it. If it was like a little blouse or a top, I think you would probably be fine, or you could wear a little camisole underneath it like I am with this Donny top. I've just got the True Bias Zoe tank top on, which I made using our optic white organic cotton jersey and the corresponding ribbing fabric. So so yeah, if you felt like you wanted a bit more coverage but didn't want to line it, you could definitely just wear a little vest top underneath, which works nicely. But this is really lovely and crisp. It's nice and lightweight. I think this would be so cool to wear in the summer because it would really ref reflect the light. And it's just got a nice texture to it as well. So it's got a stripe in it that's sort of textured almost sear suckerish a little bit and then that that stripe woven into the fabric as well so again you could really play with the direction of stripes when you make a garment with this type of fabric which can can look really lovely as well if you've got a garment that's got different panels in it so so yeah that's a really nice lovely summery one here and then the next ones are all x designer fabrics so we're not allowed to say what the designer is for um obvious reasons but um it is it is a really nice high-end designer and the quality of the fabrics is exceptional so because it's like it's effectively like dead stock fabric so it's like surplus to what gets manufactured for and this particular brand and then it sort of filters its way down into fabric shops like mine and um, so because the fabrics will have been made like specifically to their specifications the quality is usually is is usually really high as is the case with all of these ones here but it does give quite an eclectic mix um but they are they are all really lovely so the first one that i've got is the sky dobie stripe cotton shirt and shirting fabric 
and it's really lovely and crisp. It would make a gorgeous, nice, oversized summer shirt. You could layer it up nice with a little vest top um, or kind of like a beach cover up style as well. I think that would be really gorgeous, nice for a, a summer dress too. So very crisp. And then it's got this really lovely little textured doby spot woven into it. So, so that's actually part of the fabric. It's not printed on. Um, you could definitely use either side of it as well. I don't think it's particularly got a right and a wrong side. You could just pick one and be consistent with it. Um, so yeah, a really not lovely, nice, fresh, crisp one there for summer. And then the next one I've got is another 100% cotton one. I would say this feels um, maybe like a little bit heavier than a, a cotton lawn, but not like a really heavy poplin. We have called it a poplin because it's thicker than a lawn but I still think it's got a lot of nice sort of light, light weight qualities to it. It is just, you know, it's it's just going to be like a little bit more structured than a viscose, for example, because it is cotton. But this really nice kind of abstract print on it, that's a black background and then a sort of taupe um, design on it, which is really lovely. So, um, yeah, that would be nice for a nice little top or a shirt or a dress, a jumpsuit even, would be lovely in that one. It's not see-through at all. And then the next one is really lovely as well. It's got a nice texture to it because it's got a bit of linen in it. Anytime you have, see a fabric that's got a bit of linen in it, you always know it's going to have a little bit more depth and character and structure because linen just gives that that natural sort of irregularity to the thread, which makes it, it's like slubby a little bit. Um, so this is 84 cotton, 14 linen and 2% elastane. So it's got a little bit of stretch in it. And I think this would be really nice. Maybe if you're wanting to make something smarter, maybe a nice smart pair of trousers or a smart little blazer, um, something like the Friday Pattern Company Heather blazer. You know, so it's not too formal, but making it in a fab, the pattern's not that formal, but making it in a fabric like this can make it look really smart and um, it's like a really miniature houndstooth design that's on it when you look really closely but then from a distance it just kind of looks like a almost like a small scale check really and um, but it's a lovely one nice and crisp and um, a good weight as well and um, not too thin not too thick just sort of nice middle of the road one and then the next one that I've got is really fun it's got lots of different colors in it it's a stripe fabric so this one is the striped yarn dyed cotton fabric so 100 percent cotton all these stripes are woven into the fabric and it's yeah it's just got a really lovely texture to it very bold and um, very soft it almost feels very slightly brushed on the reverse you can see the colors on the reverse are just a little bit duller than what they are on the face but you could definitely mix and match i don't think that necessarily looks wrong it just looks darker than the other side so you could kind of choose what one you preferred but i think this would look really 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 lovely make a nice striking garment um, and you could definitely play around with this with the sort of direction and the stripes in that one as well and um, so so yeah another lovely one from that x designer collection and then this next one's got a bit more structure to it so this is the charcoal pinstripe on ivory cotton twill fabric so it's 100 percent cotton and i would say it's pretty weighty so it's going to be good for more like a structured pair of trousers maybe a little skirt again would make a nice blazer you could even use it to make some cushion covers because it is quite it does feel quite sort of robust and very dense and um, so but but it's not you know it's not like it's um stiff or sort of holding its shape too much and i think it would still feel comfortable to wear and um, but yeah just a, a more sort of like structured kind of crisp one really and um, which is really nice and just yeah these sort of um narrow stripes with the wider band in between and then the next one here this has got a really nice sort of yarn dyed texture and appearance to it as well this is the classic chambray cotton linen fabric so it's 65 cotton 35 linen and it's like a denim sort of blue color a, ni a nice amount of weight I think you could you could make um, summer trousers in this one here and um, so just just quite a nice sort of classic plain one maybe if you've got a lot of little pattern tops or blouses you're looking for something plainer to wear with it then this one would be a really lovely option here and then the other woven one that I've got to show you is a nice crisp plain one this is the off-white textured cotton poplin fabric now when you look at it we were we were thinking of how we could sort of describe this one and get the texture across because when you look at it very closely 
it almost looks like grow grain, the texture that's on grow grain ribbon, you know, like all those little lines, but but mini miniature, so very sort of dainty and subtle. Um, but it does give it a really nice sort of thicker kind of weighty handle to it. It feels very soft. Um, maybe almost like a little bit of a slippery finish, but it is 100% cotton. And again, I think a really lovely, nice, crisp white shirt would be gorgeous in this one. Um, or, or like a sort of loose kind of beach cover up robe style, reflect the light really nicely because it is so white. Um, so, so yeah, just a nice sort of classic, classic crisp white fabric there. Again, part of that X designer collection that we have had in that is all really lovely. And then the final woven one that I've got to show you, which is possibly my favourite. I am desperate to make something with this. I love it so much. I just need to decide what to do. Possibly a dress, possibly a summer dress. This is from the X Designer range as well. And it's 100% cotton. And it's got this larger scale Dolby Spot woven into it that is in shades of green and blue. So it's sort of variated shades of green and blue. I think you could have either side as the right side, so you could choose to have it on the sort of more softer, flatter side, or you could have it on the side where it's like a little bit more tufted, or it's the you can see the sort of ends of the threads a little bit, gives it a little bit more texture. So I think you could just choose what you would prefer to be the right and wrong side there. I don't think anyone's necessarily wrong. And then it's on a sort of um, creamy kind of off-white background, but it's really lovely, really crisp. I absolutely love it. I think even just something like this Donny top would be nice, but yeah, um, some some kind of um, little top shirt, a dress. I, I think probably if you're making a dress, you might feel like you want to line it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's lovely. It's such a nice one. Um, okay, and then actually I do have two more woven ones for you. They are these viscose prints that are just behind me here. So a few new ones to add to our lovely collection of patterned viscose fabrics. So these are 100% viscose. Now this one here is interesting because um, when you feel it and look up closely at the texture of it it's almost got like a sort of sateen finish to it so very very slight sheen feels really soft it's like when you rub it in one direction it feels really sort of silky and then in the other direction you can just tell that it feels different but it's got such a gorgeous selection of colors really nice like random orientation of the print there as well so a nice one where you you know you're not going to need to be worrying about pattern matching or anything with this print i think the scale's small enough and it's abstract enough and just some gorgeous pops of color there with the blues and yellows and oranges and then those, that bright sort of magenta pink as well so i think that would that would make a gorgeous lovely dress maybe if you're going to a wedding or had a special event happening over the summer then that one would make a gorgeous outfit and um, very very drapey and swishy as well and then this one is also absolutely gorgeous i love the colors in this one and um, it's quite similar to another fabric that unfortunately we couldn't get any more of but the color tones are quite similar so it's like this sort of purpley pinky background these lovely kind of abstract navy blue flowers so this one here is the trailing florals viscose fabrics 100 percent viscose this is a bit more like a regular plain weave viscose so it just feels nice and soft and smooth and um, it doesn't reflect the light i would say it's got more of a matte finish to it um, and yeah, just I think this would be stunning as a, a wedding, a summer wedding guest outfit as well. It's beautiful. Um, you you can make a jumpsuit, you can make a skirt, a dress. Um, but even if you just wanted like a little top, um, or a little blouse or shirt in it as well, I think that would look really lovely too. So let me just double check the last wovens. I keep finding more wovens for you. I'm trying to section them out into wovens and stretch fabrics. Is a few dashwood cotton lawns. So these are 100% cotton, really lovely quality, nice, fine, lightweight, crisp cotton lawns, nice and easy to work with, really cool to wear, and a couple of colourways of the same print. So this is the Parisa white, and then it's in that sort of navy colourway as well. Um, so it's really, really, really detailed, lots of beautiful texture and detailing in the, in the drawing that is on this print, it's gorgeous. Um, so, and yeah, because it's a nice crisp cotton lawn, nice and easy to work with will press well into any details like collars button plackets cuffs anything like that and also gather up really nicely if you've got any um, pin tucks or gather details to do as well this is a bit of a smaller scale one a bit more of a kind of all over design this is the dashwood studio bahar white ace cotton lawn fabric 
so lovely sort of blue cool blue tones in that one as well so yeah a few other nice patterned cotton lawns to add to the range of cotton pattern cotton lawns that we've got so then next we're on to the jersey fabrics now so i've got a few different jerseys to show you i'm going to show you the stripes first of all and um, everybody loves a jersey stripe and we've got this one in three colorways so we've got it in a really lovely red a navy blue and then in a black as well so the stripes are same distance and um, it's, it's a sort we've called it a mid stripe it's not not narrow but it's not really broad either it's viscose and elastane, so it's a really drapey one. Quite a lot of the other stripe jerseys that we've got are cotton, so they tend to hold their shape and structure a little bit more, whereas this one is going to swish and move around much, much more. So um, a really lovely like maxi summer dress would look nice in this. Again, you could alternate the direction of the stripes if you wanted to as well. It's, it's stretchy in both directions, um, so it's got a four-way stretch. So it's, yes, it's just a really sort of lightweight, floatier, offering in the stripe department because a lot of our other stripes as i said because they're cotton they do just have a little bit more structure and then these two prints here are also viscose jersey so again i've got those qualities of being really floppy and drapey would be nice for um, a nice wrap dress this one here is the lavender gray garden viscose jersey fabric so quite a small scale print all over print cute for little t-shirts or tops or yeah as I said a nice wrap dress would be lovely in that one as well and then another floral print here this is on a really lovely classic navy background and then it's got these beautiful little pink flowers all over it so this one is the pink posy sprigs viscose jersey fabric and again it's 95 viscose and five percent elastane so just another really lovely nice lightweight floaty and drapey one there and then the next ones are a couple of new colorways to a popular range that we had that we brought in when we did the helen's closet dawson t-shirt top as a sewing society kit in february so this is the bamboo loop back french terry jersey fabric so it's a really lovely weight to it it's like a, a sort of heavier weight t-shirting fabric or a very lightweight, very, very lightweight sweatshirting fabric because it's got that loop back. Bamboo is so lovely and soft and silky to wear. It's very comfortable, it feels so smooth. So just a couple of new colorways. This one is the pale periwinkle and the other one is a really bright cobalt blue color. And then, we, but we do have it in other, the other colorways as well. We've got a navy, a black, a pink, and like a sort of marled grey one as well. That's the other the other colourways that we stock. So it's really good for jumpsuits, t-shirts. Um, if you you could use it with jumper patterns, and it would just give more of like a top or t-shirt feel to a jumper pattern. But you could use it for jumper patterns as well. Um, and yeah, it's just a really lovely fabric to to, to feel and to sew with and to wear. Um, so so yeah, nice to see some fresh colours in that range. The next one that I've got is a new range of fabrics that are stretchy, but they're 100% cotton. So we're classing them as stretchy jersey fabrics because of the way that they have been knitted and woven together, but they are 100% cotton. So the, the stretch is coming from the way that they've been knitted, not from any elastane fibers that are in them. So it does mean that they feel a, li they feel a little bit thicker, it's almost like they're double sided so they don't really have as much of a, a right and wrong side like regular t-shirt jersey fabrics would have and they're not going to have as much recovery so because they don't have that stretchy fiber in them when you stretch them a lot and then let it relax it's going to stay bagged out a little bit more so they're going to be better suited to looser style garments and more oversized t-shirts and tops and at the moment we've just got it in quite classic colors so a navy a black and a white and um, but it does it is available in other colorways as well we just wanted to try it with those classic colors see how you guys liked it and then yeah we can always add to the range if it's popular um, but a few people were just asking for something that was stretchy but 100% cotton um, I think it makes really nice pyjamas as well so so yeah that is a new little range of jerseys here and, and then finally I've also got a new little range of active wear fabrics so these would be really good if you're making some some active wear leggings or little tops or bralettes that kind of thing maybe some shorts 
and we've got a couple of planes and a couple of prints that we bought to kind of coordinate with each other. So if you wanted to do like a mix and match or like a two-tone garment, then they go really nicely together as hopefully you can see. Um, so they're 85 polyester, 15% elastic, so really nice and stretchy. Make sure you use a stretch sewing machine needle when you sew with these fabrics. Well, this one's the Cosmic Sky and then this one here is the Lilac one. So they go really lovely together. And then we've also got this one here, which I think also looks nice with the Lilac. This one is the Vibrant Splash Sportswear jersey fabric, but it does, it does kind of have elements almost like of an animal print in there like a sort of cheetah print there's lots of lovely tones in that one it's really nice and then we have also got this one here which is a bit more kind of galactic northern lights sportswear jersey fabric and um, which is really lovely as well got some nice bright um, neon greens in that and really lovely textures and then to go with that we have got a navy so this one is just navy sportswear jersey fabric but i wanted to sort of show you them together and um, because also this one i think goes with the navy as well so definitely sort of burying myself with fabrics here definitely lots of mixing and matching that you could do with that one um, and some nice nice ideas for fun funky sportswear there so that's everything that i have brought to show you in this video hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the fabrics and seeing them up close and that you've got some ideas for new sewing projects so just a reminder that you can see all of the fabrics that i've mentioned on here in the blog post that goes alongside with the video and then you can get links to the listings we've got lots of pictures on the listings videos to show you them close up as well so there's lots of different ways that you can see the fabrics and hopefully feel like you know what you're getting even if you are too far away to visit the shop in person you're shopping online if you've got any questions you need any help at all the g, &G team and i are always more than happy to help you can call the shop you can email email us you can leave a comment on this video as well and um, but thanks so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already remember and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video and i'll see you next time bye